this is the best roller coaster I've ever made, but the track is complete garbage. And you know what? I'm gonna have to do something about that. Now, if you look at the actual coaster itself, the mechanic is super simple, but the only reason it's possible is because we can make super strong springs. And because you can now make super strong springs, as you can see, we can actually just simply pause the entire coaster while it's literally on its side. Now, believe it or not, this is cool, but I'm kind of tired of going in circles. I actually want to go all the way to the end. So the way I want to start my coaster is how any good coaster should start with a really steep death drop. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that that right there is looking pretty freaky. And so that right there works, but I'm already starting to run into a problem, and that's that I'm running out of space. And actually, because we don't want our roller coaster to hit any rocks, I'm actually going to have to go up a little ways so that way it can't happen. I'm actually kind of curious to see if we can even do this first section because it's pretty tight. So pretty much, if this works, I think we can do anything. Oh my god, dude, that was so smooth. Dude, this track is going to be absolutely insane. Now, one of the coolest and most famous parts of our roller coaster is the loops. So you know what? We're going to have to build one. Now, the reason it's actually super difficult to build a loop is because you got to start it and end it in a different spot. So I think the only way I can actually do this is by building one perfect loop just like so. All right, there you go. So that's going to be a loop. But of course, I mean, we would just be going in circles forever. So we want to fix that. And I think the only way we can actually do this, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take both of these pieces right here and move them over one at a time, just like so. And actually, it looks like we might be going way too far off to the side. So I think I'm going to have to do it a little bit less. I'll do about half. All right, there you go. Just like that. Now, as you might be able to tell, this right here would be a very bumpy ride. So I think all we now have to do is simply go in one at a time and rotate this by the exact right amount. Dude, that is looking so smooth. Oh my God. Okay, it's going to be perfect. So yeah, I'm just going to have to do this for every single piece. And you know what? That right there is a perfect loop. You know what? I actually think that turned out amazing. Now, another one of the track pieces that I want to make is a corkscrew, which is kind of like a loop, but even freakier. So pretty much the way this is going to work is we're going to have a track just like this, but instead of just going straight, it's actually going to rotate like so. Dude, I can already tell that this is going to be so freaky. And pretty much it's just going to keep doing this all the way until the very end. All right, so this is currently a half corkscrew, as in it will literally just leave you upside down, which we're also going to have. Of course, we also need a full corkscrew, so we're going to build that next. So own this just like so. So now pretty much you're going to go all the way around. And I think for this building method, we're going to have to do the exact same thing where we just slightly rotate every single piece. And you know what? That right there is actually looking pretty clean. All right, so that right there is the entire thing done. Now, one thing I'm a little bit worried about is that as you can see, every single one of these has a very slight bump in it, which I actually don't think is something I can fix. And I really hope it doesn't mess anything up. So you know what? I think for this one, I'm actually going to have to test it out. All right, so here we go. I got myself a second coaster. Everything seems okay so far, except for this final cart, which for some reason broke. Just going to get rid of that. Um, all right, let's see. Is it going to go? Oh my... <gasps> Dude, look at how smooth that is. Tell me that that is not the most satisfying thing you've ever seen in build a boat. Okay, I think it's safe to say that that actually works perfectly. All right, so now we have two of the three most important pieces of a roller coaster. We're only gonna have to build one more and we pretty much should be able to do anything we want on the track. So for this one, we're pretty much just gonna be going in a circle, which sounds very boring, but actually it's gonna make these other two pieces even cooler. All right, so this right here is just gonna be a simple circle, at least for now, because pretty much we're gonna have to give it the exact same treatment where we move it a little bit each time. You know what? I think all we have to do now simply do the exact same trick over again with the rotation and it should look perfect. All right, so now that we have all the pieces, it's time to start building our roller coaster. And you know what? Let's actually say that this one right here is going to be our starting piece. And of course, if we actually want to go to the end, we're going to have to build this thing vertical or we're never going to have enough space. All right, so now that I have that piece done, I actually think that I don't just want to have one of those. I actually think I want to be going around in a circle for quite a little while, you know, make you nice and dizzy. So that is one. I think I'll do like two of these. Well, there you go, just like so. And that should totally work. Dude, that looks so clean. And you know what? I actually think that we gotta go straight from all that spinning around into doing at least a corkscrew or maybe even three of them. Dude, that right there is already looking so freaking clean, dude. Look at that. I'm already liking the way this is starting to look. All right, so this right here is the start of our track. And actually, like I said, I don't think I wanna just do a single corkscrew. I think I wanna do three of them, but just doing them back to back would be too simple. So we're gonna be doing a corkscrew, then a loop, and then another corkscrew, and then another loop. I think that might be a good idea. Yeah, there you go. That right there looks like it might just make you throw up. All right, this is starting to turn out absolutely insane. 
Now, I'm currently about a thousand blocks long. I'm teleport, teleport. Okay, there we go. Boom. Oh my god, dude. Just going in all kinds of crazy directions is so sick. Now, somehow, I do need to figure out how I'm going to get back on track. Oh my god, and that is beautiful. So now, we have about a thousand block segment right here. And all we have to do to pretty much make our way all the way to the end is just duplicate this five times because the end is 5,000 blocks away. But before we're done, we do have to fix up a couple more things because yeah, currently we are way above where we actually started off. So we're somehow gonna have to take a huge plummet. And actually, I think that is exactly what I wanna do. All right, so here we have that. And we're gonna just take this part of it and move it up until we have the perfect death drop. I think this will line up. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that that right there is looking pretty clean. So now all we're gonna have to do is simply duplicate this entire track a couple of times and we should be able to make our way to the end now i did add in one secret to the build that will pretty much make this the craziest thing you've ever seen dude this thing is going to be so huge and if everything went according to plan when i actually dupe this line it up right just like so it okay it didn't perfectly line up but it's pretty close okay that is flawless and you know what that absolutely looks amazing and with this dupe this thing should finally be big enough to go all the way to the end get it into the right spot and that right there should be perfect we're gonna save this whole thing and if i'm lucky it doesn't just fall apart dude this looks so crazy now the way i'm gonna do this is actually gonna be shockingly easy all I got to do is place a chair right here facing towards the track, just like so. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing, but then on this side. And the way we're actually going to sit down is by using a portal. All right, so I think with that, everything should be ready. All right, then here we go. Time to do this. I think I can select all and unanchor. Ah! Okay, but okay, well, the portal fell. That is a problem. I didn't think about that part. Okay, so this should fix that. Just... Uh, oh my... Oh my god! Look! at that and it's going through all of the stages this is the greatest build i have ever made oh my god and i think everything yeah every single block in the game right now is currently unanchored this is actually gonna work all right dude it's finally time to set off on an adventure baby here we go time to go on the craziest roller coaster of all time here we go dude the corkscrew into the loop. Oh, it looks like we're actually hitting some blocks here. We're going to have to do a little bit of collision work live on the build or it's not going to work. Now, this is one of the things I was a little bit worried about, but it's an easy fix. So it should be okay. Collision off on those. All right, there we're going. Okay. And this time around, it is going absolutely flawlessly. Dude, look at us go. The death drop. Straight in the uphill, going around into a half corkscrew. So now we are doing everything the same but upside down this is literally the freakiest roller coaster i have ever seen dude imagine being dangled over death for an entire roller coaster long like that is literally the worst idea i could ever imagine now currently we are repeating the same steps but because we're doing everything upside down it is just looking way crazier and here we go into the first stage dude we are actually getting really close to the rocks that's making me a little bit nervous but i think we should be okay all right and we did another half corkscrew and as you can see we are back to being not upside down. Dude, look at us go. The world's first, as far as I know, actual roller coaster that goes through all of the stages. Now, the real question is, can we actually make it all the way to the end? Because, of course, there's going to be some crazy obstacles that we're going to run into, especially towards the end. And we're upside down again. All right, here we go into the Wild West stage. Now, let's hope that my own stage isn't going to be the one to kill me. A little corkscrew action. There we go. Now, I'm really worried about these tumbleweeds, so I'm actually going to try to dodge them. I'm going to stay up here for a little while while these things settle down a little bit. Okay, they're settled down. Here we go. Ooh, dude, they are bouncing like crazy. Come on. Ah, ah, ah. It's getting really close to me. No. Wait, did it mess me up? Wait, it deleted parts of the track. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Okay, you know what? We're going to keep going without the rest of our build. We don't freaking need it. Dude, there are so many things that can go wrong here. Ah, ah. Now, I could have been an absolute baby and actually put the roller coaster over the stages and pretty much guaranteed safety. But I think it's safe to say that if there is anything that is gonna make my roller coaster more exciting, it is the fact that there is a thousand things flying straight for my head currently, and my cart is made of plastic. Oh my God, okay, wait, this one. No, oh, this is the worst of the, ah! Okay, we're dead. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Well, I think it's safe to say that that is the craziest roller coaster in all of Build-A-Boat.